family is still grieving the loss of their dog after it was shot and killed in their backyard Monday afternoon. This is a story we told you about earlier this week that has the entire region talking and repulsed. Our Chase Beefelt spoke with the owner of the dog today. Chase, obviously, this is still very, very fresh for her and her family. Mark, Abby says that her nine month old puppy Dixie was her best friend. She met her the day she was born and saved up money for three months in order to afford the Border Collie mix. After going through so much to get her and being together every day since then, she's having a very hard time dealing with her loss. 18 year old Abby Taylor said her week started the way it normally does with her pup Dixie. I came out, put her water dish on the patio, um, sat out here for a little bit, gave her a couple treats like we did every other um, working day. The day started normal, but it changed when Abby got a call from her boyfriend. Dixie had been shot and suffered from her wounds hours before she was found having seizures in the backyard. Abby's boyfriend rushed Dixie to the vet in Emmett. You know, never really put the two in together because, you know, she was a problem child. It was just like every other vet trip, you know, out to the vet. Um, but it was different when I got the call saying that, um, Somebody had shot my dog three times, and yeah, I never thought that I'd be in this position. X-rays revealed that Dixie was shot by a pellet gun, twice in the chest and once in the head. Abby rushed Dixie to the animal ER in Boise. After multiple discussions with the doctors, Abby decided it was time to put Dixie to sleep. At 18 years old, that's a tough decision. And I was the one, you know, she was my dog, and so it was up to me to figure out the best thing to do. And going back and forth with the vets and calling other vets and just getting multiple opinions on the whole thing was, it was horrible. And I finally came, became okay, you know, saying, you know, it's time, it's time. Dixie died in Abby's arms Monday night, but she's still coming to grips with the fact that her best friend is gone. Tuesday morning when I woke up, <laughs> I actually scooped a dish of food and put it out. And then I was like, you know, she's gone. It's processed, but it hasn't processed. Ada County Sheriff's Office is investigating the incident. Investigators say there was no sign of a break-in and have no leads on who shot Dixie. Abby says her puppy didn't deserve this. She never did anything to make anybody mad or anything. I mean, she just laid outside all day and I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't even have words for whoever did this. Ada County Sheriff's Office is still investigating this case and are asking anybody with any specific information to call their dispatch number. That number is 208-377-6790. This is just so sad, Mark. It, it really is. And to have it happen in her backyard, normally thought of as one of the safest places that any dog could ever be. All right, Chase P. Phil reporting live for us. Chase will continue to cover this and hopefully they find whoever did it.